Hello everyone, and welcome to the next episode of my Road to Masters series. Um, I'm back now, after my kind of week hiatus. Um, I had to take finals, I really had to study for them. That was a pretty important... Oh, did I turn the sound off? Where's, why is the sound not on? Um, anyway, this is a game between me, Logert, versus MC Rod, McRod, or MC Rod, I don't know. I'm gonna call him McRod. Um, it's me, the Blue Protoss, down in the 7 o'clock position versus the Red Zerg up in the 1 o'clock position. Um, he has the Collector, or the High Level Zerg Overlord. They always look weird to me. Like, I just don't get it. Whatever. Um, I actually for once do a Forge Fast Expand. Um, that's just, I don't know what Forge Fast Expand, but I remember to this game. So... Still boosting out my workers pretty well, although that pylon was timed fairly badly. I think I got supply blocked for about a second. That normally doesn't happen, but you know, hey, it happens. It's a little leak. Um, this game was played during my hiatus. I wanted to get a few games recorded just in case I couldn't play much. I have two or three games that I can uh, cast. So, Forge Fast Expanding, obviously. Uh, pylon and Forge. I usually opt for a gateway following the Forge. And then Nexus, and then Pil Gateway Pylon Nexus. I don't normally get a cannon, because I've really never had to use it. I, I don't even know why I get... I might as well just Nexus first. Like, the way I play, I might as well just Nexus first. So, I really like... My Chronos actually have been getting really good. Like, I'm pretty proud of myself. My Chronos have been getting... See, I, I'm getting the Gateway first. Um, my Chronoing, at least for the first couple minutes, I'm pretty proud of. I don't think I get a gas till late, but I'm really proud of my uh, chronos because I'm, I'm chronoing a lot. Needless to say, is my mic on? Yep, my mic is on. That would have been embarrassing. So I actually, or he gets his expansion before me. Most zergs, even in silver, you don't really see early pushes. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, sent him back. That was a little bit of a mistake. Energy getting a little high. I'm focusing on the nexus though. I need to improve my multitasking. Really need to work on that. So, send him just in time, actually. I like his overlord placement. One right here allows him to see my probes, I think. And then one's coming down here, I think, to spot for the... when I get my fourth, or third, third or fourth. Cybercore, a bit late. I probably could have that Cybercore a little earlier. Not gonna lie. Um, gases, I really should have started a gas. So, like, I... Oh. Started it pretty soon after it, but still, um, probably could have cut some chronos or cut a probe or two to get out the simulator. Cause you'll see, my simulator finishes when my cyber finishes, which if you're a protoss, you know that's not good. Um, you really want to have enough gas to start. See, hold up, switch three over immediately, but it finishes and I have zero gas, so I have to wait all the way to the 50. That used to happen to me a lot, and I'm not used to the timing for a forge fast. Ooh, he takes a fast third. Um, I really haven't focused on what he's doing in this game. Sorry. Like when I watched the replay beforehand, I really watched just myself. So, um, I send 16 workers. I keep 16 on this base because that's the optimal amount, or so I've been told. Rally both nexuses down to here and continue making probes out of both of them to optimize my probe production. That's a tip that I was actually... I actually received free coaching from a... I think he said he was a diamond zerg, but he basically... When, when you're diamond, you can teach anyone any race because you know the mechanics. So he was basically coaching me on my mechanics, and that's the thing he drilled home was to put 16 on each base and queue up use all your nexuses to make probes so you can be way more efficient. So as you can see, I have more workers than him right now because I'm chronoing out workers and I'm using both nexuses. At least I'm getting better at it. So my probe production is making me way more efficient. Like I make many, many, many more probes than I used to. Like many more probes. Well, a ton more, not many more. That sounds really bad. That sounds like I don't, I can't English. Um, I should have gotten my gases earlier. As you can see, I have a lot of minerals, no gas. I really should have double gassed up here to help reduce the... Oh, my workers going? Is this making a worker? Yes, it is. 
and the chrono is pretty low. So, probably could have chrono boosted up the cycle for it because I already had so many workers. But, still, doesn't matter. Um, I probably could have even taken a fast third. If, had I scouted, I probably could have taken a fast third. Uh, cause he really didn't have any units. And versus Zerg, I typically... I play a pretty greedy Protoss style, at least recently. I've been trying out the greedy style. See, so still making more workers. And all of them queue up down here. If I have extra, then when I make a third, if they spill all over into here. Hold on. 42 workers at the 7 minute mark. Like, I'm producing workers, needless to say. Um, did I get a robo out? No, I didn't. I didn't even start an upgrade. I really should have. With how much stuff I have, I really should have started an upgrade. Um, I'm getting better at upgrades. I think you'll see later in the game I get some upgrades. Um, upgrades are usually my way of getting rid of extra oh, I was thinking about it, because that's about when the time I think in the game I look up my resources. Oh, I have a lot. Oh, I have a forge. So I make upgrades. His creep spread is pretty good, um, especially for silver. Uh, he's connected his bases, that's pretty impressive. He's got pretty good map coverage. Like, he knows when I'm moving out, odds are he'll see a little bit, if he has map awareness. He can see that I have this base. Um, I don't know what this is for. Maybe I'll see this attack path, but still. Okay. I do have a lot more workers than him, still, and he's on three bases. So, that's a little odd, but I have way more workers than him. Maybe he's just going to queue up a bunch of drones at once. Not really, no. Wow. I have more workers than him, which that's kind of a hallmark of my game, as I've said before, having more workers than them. Just took my third a little later than normal. I used to take my third round at the 30 mark if I'm not going to be harassed. Probably because I had so many. I was breaking a thousand. Oh, jeez, I'm lagging. I, I was breaking a thousand minerals. Oh, jeez. I was breaking a thousand minerals, so I was like, you know what? I might as well just go expand. I also need to work on Robo Facility, producing constantly out of that. Um, I don't really have an army. No, I moved out and just kind of pushed him, tacked his third. Um, did I kill anything? Oh, sorry, I totally missed that, but still. Um, do I spot the overlord? Nope. Um, units lost, tab, uh, fit. It's right on tide. So I probably killed a few lings, but other than that, not do much. Supplies are pretty even right now, but I have a pretty big probe advantage on a Zerg on three bases. Um, so on this base I have 34 workers, which means I can practically saturate my base just by moving them. So even if I was getting harassed, I have enough workers that my economy doesn't die. Just be Oh, he's doing the same thing actually. Um, I see that's kind of a... whatever. Anyway, if I lose some workers, I have plenty of workers. Get some sentries out because I know he has roaches. I saw them. And if he's going to go a heavy roach style, having force fields will really help you. That's also what prompted me to get immortals. I think I made another one. And a colossus. I'm going to get a colossus tech because I saw roach and I figured he's going to add on hydras in a little bit. So, yeah. And I was, I think, like, yep, he's getting a hydra done. And roach speed. So he's going home. roach hydra, which is a very common strategy. I think there's been videos of mine that have shown roach hydra. Um, so I figure just if I add on one or two stalkers, maybe an immortal or two to help clean up the roaches a little quicker, add on another few more sentries. Oh, see, this base is already saturated. I really should have added on the gas. I need to add my gases earlier. I always forget to. Um, did I get my next upgrade? Nope, I only got one upgrade. Did I get my toilet console? No, I didn't. I never actually got a second gas up in my base, which I noticed that and it really, it was to like the 15 minute mark till I noticed that. I'm like, why do I have so little gas? Oh yeah, I didn't even saturate my upper base's gas. Like, I have all the other base's gases, except for that one. Like, that's, that's so weird that I forgot that. Normally I add on my second gas right around 28 supply, but I totally forgot it. I don't know, I don't, I don't know. So he's moving out with a bunch of roaches. I actually have an upgrade advantage by some act of God. I have an upgrade advantage. I think he moves out and attacks back here, which is a good choice, except for the rocks are... He'd want to break open these rocks so he has a wider concave. Because right now, if I were to be right here, um, I would easily crush him. So I see him move out. Um, he still doesn't really have that many workers. He gets him a mineral line, which is bad, because I have like 25 workers here. So he's really decimating the work count. 
Um, as you can see, no longer count goes down so far. And I wasn't really prepared for this. 50 kills off the XP. So I run over here to cut him off. Then realize, oh wait, he's gonna be running towards my main base. So I make a massive blunder here. And behind this, he's expanding, which is really good actually. Expanding behind your attacks are really good. So I warped in some units here, but I didn't warp them right here, so I didn't block them off. So now I made the mistake of only attacking the units up here, so now he's up here in this base too. And my worker advantage is pretty much gone now. I was actually really, really disappointed at this, because then my, work, my units got fucked up. And, oh, it was a massive wonder. Yeah, they actually get into the main base, spot all my tech, kill off like 10 more workers. I hid the Colossus so he didn't see it. I don't know if he's actually looking for it. So he kills off literally like 40 workers. That was a massive mistake on my part. I was, at least I think, I was ahead. It was, at least economically, I was ahead. Way ahead. But now, as you can see, I'm behind. So, my income, obviously. I don't know why I didn't rally them back over here. Why did I rally them down here so they can just long distance mine? I'll never know, but his bases aren't too saturated, and the income actually... Oh, that's not good. It's, it, it wasn't good after that harass. That harass did way more than it should have. Like, <laughs> that harass was... If I would have handled that better and just not have let him run away and get into my main like that, or had I had a sentry to like force field him out to delay him, I would have saved 15, 20 probes, but it's just a total... It, it, it was bad, I'm not going to lie. I was really disheartened after that game, or after that kind of happening. Although I do really have a bank going on. He has a supply lead on me, and at this point in the game, I figured I was massively behind. Like, I knew he's a Zerg, he's at least on three base, if not four base. And I was right, he was on four bases, although none of them were really saturated. He really should have droned up, I think he did. He really should drone up in this situation, because I'm so far behind. Well, army-wise, I'm not behind, and upgrade-wise, I'm not behind. I don't believe he's getting an upgrade still. Nope, just level 1 carapace. Um, economically, he really did a hit on me, but I have so many probes that if I wouldn't have had you know, 70, I would have had like 10. So I wall this off, just because I don't want him to do that again. And if he does do it again, I want a warning. So, at least then, it won't happen again. So he sends out a roach to scout me. Um, my army's actually getting pretty big right now. I'm adding some zealots, because I know zealots are pretty good versus hydras. Well, typically. So my, my army actually moves up here, which is really lucky I wasn't down here, because he'd do it again. And I got one more Colossus just in time for this army. He has no corruptors in his army right now. I have, so I have two Colossus, a bunch of zealots, and a mortal. So I see that, and I scout his army, and this is just a bad engagement for him. Like, this is just a bad engagement he has so many hydras, like my upgrades, and I'm actually not producing anything right now, which is another mistake of mine, not focusing too much on battles. Um, I actually micro I've been told I'm too much in battles instead of macroing, so he decided to take his fight here. He has so many hydras that I have Colossus, and hydras kind of melt versus Colossus. As you can see, I have a pretty big supply lead right now. So I came back from, I'm not sure exactly how far, but I thought I was behind. I might not have been behind, I don't actually know. But now I go and take out his third, just because I want to get a little bit of economic damage at least. Because I'm really, at this point in the game, I figured if I can just kill him up one of his bases and a lot of his workers, and just pull back and not lose anything, or maybe even take a fight here and kill off a bunch of units and then get out, I would at least close the gap of how far I'm going. But then I realized this is all I've got. So I realized that this, he'd send a bigger army if he had more, he doesn't have more. I have one one, I have the tech that basically hard counters him. He sends his units up here to kill my Colossus, and I have one out to Colossus. Um, look at my APM. APM. Uh, I've been told not to focus on that, but I'm sorry. I just, I find it really interesting. And it's just like a thing that you're not supposed to watch, but you do. It's just, it, I don't know. He says GG. I say GG will play because, yeah, it's just what I do. I like to be a good man. And he doesn't want to leave for a while. Until I think I walk up into his base. That's when he leaves. I go back. 
and produce more probes and stalkers. Make sure I keep up with the macro. Move up into his base, and I think he leaves. So, yep, there he goes. Now he leaves. He's morphing corruptors, but honestly, four corruptors really wouldn't have done anything. And even if it had, I still had enough units that it doesn't matter. So, at the end of the game, this game, I made a massive blunder, like losing two thirds of my probes and workers. And that is definitely not advisable to anyone at any situation at any time. Please don't do that. <laughs> but I don't know what got me back. Um, something did, though. Um, maybe the army, like the fight right here got me back. It killed off his army. I just kept pushing. Kept, you know, char like racing him back, you know, Silver League style. Killed off his third, put him behind, and then kind of aim move for the victory. I think he gave me too much time, and he didn't really harass me enough. Which, when you go that economic style, he didn't really have the death ball. And I guess, maybe I saw his army and read it right. I don't know what it was, honestly. Oh, I'm also supply blocked right now. I always get supply blocked at 182, 42, and 135, 136, something like that. I always get supply blocked at those numbers. It's because I always forget, because this is normally when I move out, when I'm like at 170, 160 supply. Then I macro a little bit more, forget to add them, like pylons, macro once more, then I get supply blocked. So I need to work on that too. I have like three major supply blocks. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos. I'm on summer vacation now, so I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos um, whenever I can. Um, so, yeah, this weekend I'll be putting on more videos. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please, like, comment, comment suggestions on things to add to my gameplay. Um, also, guys, please keep in mind when you comment, I usually have three or four games recorded that I play. So if you don't see anything changing for a few games, it's probably because I played them all at the same time than record them. Because I have, a, like, a section of games that I haven't recorded yet, just in case I can't play just so I can just record it, upload it. I just like to have a little bit of a backlog of games. So if you don't see your suggestions immediately, I read all the comments. Obviously, I don't have many comments. So I read all your comments, and I do try and put them in my game. I do try and add them to my game whenever I think about it. But obviously, I can't always do everything. I'm a Silver League player. I wish I could. I wish I could just improve at a rapid rate. But anyway, thanks for... Uh, thanks for watching guys and please submit your replays to logertsc2 at gmail.com if you want to submit your replays I'll cast them I want to cast more of those games I have those games I'm going to cast more of them anyway now I'm actually done okay bye thank you for watching comment subscribe like do all that fancy stuff bye ciao